as we've already defined, a mistake in coding is called an error. The error once found by the testing team is called defect and defect once accepted by the development team is called a bug. A test case is input or set of inputs followed by preconditions if there are any and then followed by the expected output. A test case can be of positive intent and it can be of negative intent. While doing structural or white box testing, we consider code. We have the access to code. For example, consider the following code. Ye bahut hi simple char line ka code, jis mein factorial ka liye code likha gaya. Is pe ek constraint humne apply kiya hai ki n has to be less than or equal to 5. This means whatever value you take for the input, there is one input. Here we have to identify one input and n has to be less than or equal to 5. Now while testing, we have to ask ourselves a couple of questions. I mean, which questions, for example, pella question, is factorial 2, agar mein ek test case likhta hon, which is factorial of 2, is this equivalent to factorial 6? I want to ask, Kya mujhe dono test case run karne chahiye? Ya ek test case kafi hoga is tarah ki functionality ko test karne ke liye? Okay, agar ek hoga to which one should be included? Why and which one? Yani in mein se kaun sa? Factorial 2 ya factorial 3? What is part of the code that will be ex ex exercised? Kyun hoga? Aur jo baki ka bachega wo kyun nahi hoga? How to select test cases? To test our system under test, once selected, can we run all possible test cases? Agar mere paas 100 test cases ban gaye, to kya har ek test case ko mein islana padega? Achha, ye me zain me rakhna padega. We are working in a software house, where this is an economic activity, and whatever spending we are doing on testing, we'll have to justify that effort or that spending. Each run will cost definitely will cost money imagine acha ek aur question yahan pe create hota hai sut is a code fragment from safety critical system lab assignment uranium enrichment uh, gas handling system radiation treatment equipment to aapke kaun sa agar ye aap hai to kya aap sabko ek hi sensitivity denge aap aur kijiye aap ek lab assignment kar rahe hain to kya uske test cases और यूरेनियम एनरिचमेंट गैस हैंडलिंग जो कि आपके इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट कर रही होगी क्या उसके रिएक्टर के लिए भी आप इतने ही यानी एक दो चार छह टेस्ट केसेस लिख के निकल जाएंगे कैन वी हैव सेम नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट केसेस कैन वी हैव मेनी टेस्ट केसेस विद लॉट्स ऑफ रिपीटेशन क्या करना चाहिए लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वी नीड टू डिवाइज अ स्ट्रेटजी for selecting subset of test cases from all possible ca test cases, we need to prove that they are representative of all possible test cases. We need to prove that we have tested all aspects of SUT depending upon my requirement, kya thi, my test requirement, kya thi, my coverage, kis ki requirement, thi, my nature of application, kya thi, how and how much. Then we consider functional aspects of ab, because we are structural testing, we will functional aspects and we will consider the code. In the two things we have define karni padengi. First thing test selection criteria or test case selection, then test adequacy. 